Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fun video. Today I'm going to be telling you guys the gender of my baby. We recently found out this past weekend with my husband and my mom. We did like a mini gender reveal and we finally know what we're having. So I'm going to insert a little clip for you guys to see how our gender reveal went. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to show you guys the little clip. So without further ado, here is my gender reveal. <laughs> You guys have to guess though. What do you think? Girl, what do you think? I don't know. I'm neutral. You gotta guess. Um, I think girl. You think girl? Okay. Let's find out. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Here we go. It's a boy. Yeah, it's a boy. It's a. <laughs> you guys made a mess. You guys made a mess. We are having a boy. A boy. Having a boy, and I'm super, super, super excited. I thought for sure it was going to be a girl because on the day that my husband did the confetti in the balloon. I found like a pink confetti on the ground, but I didn't tell my husband because I assumed it was gonna be a girl. So I was like, let me just keep it to myself. But it ended up being blue. So whatever I found on the ground was totally, I don't know where that's from. But I thought for sure we were gonna have a girl because my sister, she also has a girl. But on my husband's side, uh, it's mainly boys. So I'm, I was just really surprised. I thought it was gonna be a girl for sure, but I was wrong. We are having a boy. And I'm super, super, super excited. My daughter's also excited as well. And so is my husband. So we are excited about that. Moving on, uh, I want to share with you guys a, my pregnancy update. What's been going on with me and my body. I'm currently 22 weeks pregnant. You definitely see the difference being pregnant with a girl, with Kimira, and being pregnant with this one. I kind of had a feeling I was going to have a boy. Because in the beginning of the trimester, I was craving spicy foods. Uh, I think I mentioned that in one of my videos that I was craving spice. I even ate like jalapeno in my sandwiches. So I kind of had a feeling, but I I had a feeling that I was going to have a girl. So I was leaning towards girl because my sister house has a girl. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have another girl. And it ended up being a boy. Moving on, I want to talk about prenatals and what prenatals I am currently taking. Uh, the prenatals that I was taking, but I ran out. This is like my second bottle is the new chapter perfect prenatal multivitamin and this is what it looks like okay. and the thing about this it has like a smell to it but it's like healthy it's like vegetarian tablets and you get 96 vegetarian tablets and i think this is like 80 i'm not mistaken if i'm not mistaken it's like 80 or 90 dollars it's pretty up there these are really pricey that's kind of another reason why I stopped buying these because when I was pregnant with Camaro, I was always buying these. But since I'm pregnant with this one, I don't know. I just felt like maybe I can find another uh, vegetarian vitamin for the baby that's cheaper, which I did. So the next thing that I, I am currently taking, and I got this during a time when there was like a promotional sale where you buy, you buy two and it's $50 for both of them together. And it's the Mega Food Baby and Me 2. And it supports the health of mother and developing child. The only thing about this, this is for pre and post natal dietary supplements. So you can take it pre and after you give birth. So during pregnancy and after you give birth. What this doesn't have is DHA. And DHA is made, it's like omega-3s. So it's good for your baby's brain, the development of the brain. So what I take separately for DHA is the new chapter. And this is for the baby's brain and development. And it's also good to take while you're breastfeeding and you give birth. So, yeah, it has EPA and DHA, vitamin D3, and antioxidants. So this is really good to take while you're pregnant and uh, while you're breastfeeding. So that's taking these two together. So this you take two capsules and this you take four. So you kind of run out of this really fast because you have to take four capsules in one day. But it's worth it because it's for your child. You want what's best for your baby. Another thing I want to talk about is... Fitness. I haven't really been working, especially I got sick a couple days ago. So if you guys can't hear it in my voice, I'm actually like really nasally and I've been sick. That's what's been going on with me. Fitness wise, I'm still continuously trying to work out. Some days I get lazy. If you guys follow me on social media, you guys will see that I say that I am lazy to work out. 
but I try to push myself to go and work out because like I said, I want to be able to uh, maintain being fit while I'm pregnant versus when I was pregnant with Kimia, I wasn't really doing anything. I was just like laying down, napping like every, <laughs> every hour of the day. <laughs> This pregnancy, I've been trying to uh, stay fit and keep moving. So that's what's been going on with me when it comes to fitness. Eating-wise, I've been trying to eat you know, healthy and things like that. Sometimes I do get my occasional cravings when it comes to sweets, ice creams, and things like that. I don't eat chips at all because that has like a lot of salt in it. And I create more water weight, if that makes sense, with the salt and everything like that. So I, I just avoid it. I try to eat a lot of fruits. But I've been eating a lot of like pears, tangerines, um, do I eat apples? I eat a lot of grapes, things like that. So that's what I've been mainly eating. I drink orange juice, milk, still eat my Oma for breakfast. I try to make smoothies so I can get the fruit intake if I, there's no fruit. So I try to make smoothies. I like to eat my side rolls and things. When it comes to eating out, I try to look for the healthy side. But make sure I always eat like a salad or things like that. So that yeah, that's like the things that I've been eating and try to maintain. I drink lots of water. When it comes to working out, I try to avoid doing like crazy intense workouts like jump ropes, jump squats, box squats, whatever. I avoid that at all times. I know you can, the doctor says you can continuously do it, but I just feel like it's uncomfortable for my body, so I just don't do it. I don't do planks, I don't do sit-ups, I don't do anything that has to deal with being like, my stomach has to crunch or do, like, do crunches and things like that. I just don't do it. I avoid it. I do side planks or side dips i do do those if you follow me on instagram you'll see the kind of workouts that i do do but i'm gonna try because try and uh, film pregnancy workout videos for my channel because i know some of you guys want to see me working out when i pregnant like an actual video rather than just like snippets on my instagram so i'm gonna try and do that for my uh channel that's pretty much what i've been doing when it comes to fitness and when it comes to eating and how my body has been i haven't been throwing up or anything like that i haven't been feeling nauseous or yeah anything like that i've actually been feeling good except for me right now i'm actually sick like i said one more thing that i want to talk about is this this um belly band that i purchased off of belly armor by radio shield it's this right here and it's a maternity band lined with radiation fabric, 99.9% .9 shielding effectiveness for radiation from cell phones, laptops, and other devices. I saw this on Sunkiss Alba's, on one of her videos where she was talking about pregnancy, and I was like, oh wow, I didn't even know they made that, because I actually have a radiation shield on my phone and all on my other electronic devices. So I was like, oh wow, I didn't even know they had that. It's pretty much just a belly band. I got a size two, if you guys are wondering what size I got. And it protects the baby from like radiation things. Uh, my daughter's always on her iPad. Even though she has like the radiation shield sticker on it, I still feel like, I don't know, I still feel like paranoid that my baby and my tummy is getting like the radiation from it. So I will leave products and everything that I talked about in the description box below if you guys are interested in that. But that's pretty much it on this video. I'm going to close it here. If you guys have any more questions about my pregnancy, please leave it in the comments oh below. And I will definitely answer it and get to you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hey guys!